Hello everyone. This video presents some notable historic events that happened on each day during the month of August. On August 1st, 1714, the British people dug deep, really deep, in order to select their next king when Queen Anne died. On August 1st, 1831, the new London Bridge spanning the River Thames in central London was completed. On August 1st, 1911, Harriet Quimby of Michigan became the first woman in the United States to be awarded an Aviator Certificate by the Aero Club of America, ACA. On August 1, 1949, T.J. Slowey, a secretary of the Federal Communications Commission, FCC, sent a letter to Leroy E. Ed Parsons requesting he furnish the commission full information with respect to the nature of the system you may have developed and may be operating. On August 1, 1981, the world of music and television changed forever when MTV made its debut on satellite and cable television when John Lack announced, Ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll! On August 1, 1993, the Great Mississippi and Missouri Rivers Flood of 1993 came to its peak. On August 1, 2007, the Interstate 35 westbound bridge over the Mississippi River in Minneapolis came tumbling down during the evening rush hour, killing 13 and injuring 145. On August 1, 2019, we took a moment to delve into the arena of politics, a part of history we consider normally a topic to avoid because of the volatile nature of opinions and deep-rooted emotions attached to those opinions. Finally, on August 1, 2020, we took a look back on a rather tumultuous July of 2020, a month replete with unique people and events in American and world history. On August 2, 216 BC, the Carthaginian army of Hannibal defeated the larger Roman army at Cannae, a major battle during the Second Punic War. On August 2, 1343, Olivier Clisson, a French nobleman from Brittany, was convicted of treason in Paris and beheaded. On August 2, 1798, during the French Revolutionary Wars, the French fleet supporting then-General Napoleon Bonaparte's invasion of Egypt was defeated soundly by the British at the Battle of the Nile. On August 2, 1916, Austrian saboteurs managed to sink the Italian battleship Leonardo da Vinci as the great ship lay in Toronto Harbor. On August 2, 1943, the U.S. Navy patrol torpedo boat PT-109 commanded by young Lieutenant John F. Kennedy, was rammed and sunk by a Japanese destroyer in the Solomon Islands, cutting Kennedy's boat in half and sinking it. On Wednesday, August 2, 2017, fantasy fans had their chance to be among the first in Cleveland to see the Dark Tower before it opened in theaters. Finally, on August 2, 2019, Word of a decision by a New York City police judge to ask the police commissioner to fire Officer Daniel Pantaleo was made public. On August 3, 1921, the commissioner of baseball, Judge Kennesaw Mountain Landis, reaffirmed the ban from baseball of the eight players involved in the Black Sox scandal, even though they had just been acquitted in criminal court. On August 3, 1936, James Cleveland Jesse Owens won the 100-meter dash at the Berlin Olympics and blazed into the record books. On August 3, 1946, 
post-war Americans were ready for a good time and were able to find it at the country's first theme park type of amusement park at Santa Claus Land in southern Indiana. On August 3rd, 1960, the Esch family welcomed baby Eric into the world, little realizing this tiny baby would grow up to be a 425-pound behemoth of boxer, kickboxer, tough man, MMA fighter, and, of course, reality television star. On August 3rd, 1997, the Sky Tower in Auckland, New Zealand opened, taking the title as the tallest freestanding structure in the Southern Hemisphere. On August 3rd, 2017, we were happy to report on our screening the previous night of the new major motion picture, The Dark Tower, a film adaptation of the book series, eight novels from 1982 to 2012 by horror maven, Stephen King. On August 3rd, 2018, just as on every first Friday in August, we celebrated International Beer Day. Finally, on Tuesday, August 3rd, 2021, superhero fans had their chance to be among the first in Cleveland, Ohio, to see The Suicide Squad at 7 p.m. at Cinemark at Valley View and XD in Valley View, Ohio. On August 4th, 70 A.D., the Romans punished the rebellious Jews by destroying the Second Temple on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. On August 4, 1693, the monk Dom Perignon is traditionally believed to have invented champagne. On August 4, 1761, the first veterinary school of medicine was founded by Claude Bourgelat in Lyon, France. On August 4, 1821, Little Louis Vuitton was born in Anchez, Jura region, France, to a family of tradesmen and farmers. On August 4th, 1920, in Winchester, Kentucky, Helen Amelia Thomas was born, a woman that would go on to the top of her profession as a White House journalist for UPI and then Hearst newspapers. Finally, on August 4th, 2019, we celebrated another Friendship Day, truly one of the worthwhile days you might find on those ubiquitous event calendars that have a day for seemingly everything. On August 5th, 1305, William Wallace, the Scottish hero known to most in the 1995 movie Braveheart, was captured by the English and then executed for treason in the gory way those condemned as traitors were put to death at that time. On August 5th, 1620, two small English sailing ships, the Mayflower with another ship, the Speedwell, left Southampton Water in England on a first attempt to take pilgrims to the New World, carrying a group of Puritans seeking a land where they could practice their brand of religion without interference. On August 5, 1861, the federal government of the United States instituted its first income tax to help pay for the Civil War. On August 5, 1901, Irish track and field athlete Peter O'Connor set the official long jump record at 24 feet, 11 and 3 quarters inches, recognized by the IAAF International Association of Athletics Federations as a record for that event in 1912, when the event was first recognized with an official record. On August 5, 1962, Marilyn Monroe was found dead in her home of an apparent drug overdose. Finally, on August 5, 2019, while the nation reeled from recent mass shootings in Gilroy, California, three dead, El Paso, Texas, 22 dead, and Dayton, Ohio, nine dead, the calls for what some consider common sense gun control were ringing loud and strong. On August 6, 1917, future actor, composer, and singer Robert Mitchum was born in Bridgeport, Connecticut. On August 6, 1926, 
Gertrude Utterly became the first woman to swim across the English Channel. On August 6, 1945, near the end of World War II, a modified American Boeing B-29 Super Fortress heavy bomber named Enola Gay dropped a uranium gun-type Little Boy bomb, the first atomic bomb ever to be used against a real target on the Japanese city of Hiroshima, killing about 70,000 people right away, and perhaps a few tens of thousands later from wounds, burns, and radiation. On August 6, 1964, a University of North Carolina graduate student studying climate cut down the oldest known tree in the world, the 5,000-year-old Prometheus, a bristlecone pine located on Wheeler Peak in Nevada. On August 6, 2001, a tragedy known as the Irwadi Fire Incident occurred in the state of Tamil Nadu in India. On August 6, 2005, Cream Puff, the oldest cat to make it into the 2010 edition of the Guinness Book of World Records, died at the age of 38. On Friday, August 6, 2021, the popular YouTube channel Useful Charts published a video counting down the top 10 greatest ancient dynasties of all time. Finally, on August 6, 2021, we got to watch our long-awaited viewing of the latest film in the DC comic book-based movie universe, The Suicide Squad, a sequel to the 2016 blockbuster movie Suicide Squad, although in a standalone sort of way, using some of, but not all, the same characters. On August 7th, 1679, a small ship named Le Griffon, the Griffin, that had been built under the direction of famous explorer of the New World, René Robert Cavalier Sieur de la Salle, was towed to a point on the Niagara River from which it became the first European sailing vessel worthy of the designation ship to ever sail the Great Lakes. On August 7th, 1908, the Venus of Willendorf, one of the earliest depictions of female nudity, was discovered in Austria. On August 7, 1909, Alice Hyler Ramsey and three other women completed a 59-day road trip from New York to San Francisco, the first women to drive across the continent in a car. On August 7, 1930, two African-American men were seized from jail in Indiana by an irate white mob, beaten and hanged for the alleged crimes of robbery, rape, and murder. On August 7, 1942, U.S. Marines landed on the island of Guadalcanal, an island few Americans had ever heard of in the Solomon Islands chain, initiating the first U.S. ground offensive of World War II, a subject we previously covered in our article, First U.S. Offensive of World War II Begins on Guadalcanal. On August 7, 1987, an American woman named Lynn Cox, age 30, swam all the way from the United States to the Soviet Union through ice-cold water. Finally, on Monday, August 7, 2017, at 7.30 p.m. at Capitol Theater, horror fans had their chance to be among the first in Cleveland to see the Warner Brothers film Annabelle Creation, the prequel to 2014's Annabelle, before it opened in theaters on Friday, August 11th. On August 8th, 1918, the Allied offensive known as the Hundred Days Offensive began with the start of the Battle of Amiens. On August 8, 1946, the Convair B-36 Peacemaker nuclear bomber made its first flight. On August 8, 1998, Pamela Johnson of Irving, Texas founded the Secret Society of Happy People, an organization committed to the expression of happiness and for its members to remember and think about their happy times. 
On August 8, 2000, the remains of Confederate submarine H.L. Hunley were raised to the surface 136 years after this pioneering vessel was sunk with all hands, probably by itself during the U.S. Civil War. On August 8, 2017, we reflected on our screening of the upcoming August 11, 2017 horror flick Annabelle Creation a prequel to the Annabelle and Conjuring movie franchise. Finally, we wish everyone who was born on August 8th a happy birthday. On August 9th, 48 BC, Gaius Julius Caesar, known more familiarly to us as Julius Caesar or simply Caesar, won the Battle of Pharsalus in central Greece against his archenemy and former friend Pompey, decisively winning the pivotal battle of the conflict known as Caesar's Civil War. On August 9, 1930, the voluptuous Betty Boop made her big-screen debut in the animated cartoon Dizzy Dishes. On August 9, 1936, Clevelander and Ohio State University athlete James Cleveland Jesse Owens won his fourth gold medal at the 1936 Olympics by anchoring the 4x100 meters relay, winning in a world record time of 39.8 seconds. On August 9, 1945, a Boeing B-29 bomber named Boxcar dropped the second atomic bomb on Japan, incinerating 39,000 people within seconds. On August 9, 1965, Tom Jones's rendition of What's New, Pussycat, the title song of the movie with the same name, was released in the UK. On August 9, 1969, members of the Manson family, followers of cult leader Charles Manson, murdered actress Sharon Tate, her unborn baby, coffee heiress Abigail Folger, and three other people. On August 9, 1974, the Watergate presidential corruption scandal reached its climax when Richard M. Nixon became the first U.S. president to resign, leaving Vice President Gerald R. Ford to become president after not having been elected as president or as vice president. Finally, on August 9, 1999, Russian President Boris Yeltsin fired not only his Prime Minister, Sergei Stepashin, but also his entire cabinet. On August 10, 1628, the brand new Swedish warship, the Vasa, set sail for the first and last time, sinking all by herself with no help from any enemy after traveling less than a mile. On August 10, 1901, Charlotte Ann Moberly, 1846-1937, and Eleanor Jourdain, 1863-1924, traveled by train to Versailles to visit the royal palace and grounds located there, about 12 miles from the city center of Paris. On August 10, 1904, during the Russo-Japanese War, history observed the first battle between modern steel battleships in the Battle of the Yellow Sea. On August 10, 1948, the American public first heard an unseen television announcer say, Smile! You're on candid camera! On August 10, 1977, David Berkowitz, known popularly as Son of Sam, a serial killer in New York, was arrested for murders in the New York area over the past year. On August 10, 1978, three members of a family died in a fiery crash when their Ford Pinto was rear-ended. On August 10, 2017, President Trump agreed with his commission's report released a few weeks earlier and declared the country's opioid crisis a national emergency. On August 10, 2018, moviegoers in the United States were treated to a new monster motion picture, and we do mean monster, titled The Meg. 
On August 10, 2020, the people of the United States, notably those involved in the news media and those prospective Democratic or independent voters that may or may not choose to give former Vice President Joe Biden the nod for president, based on his judgment in choosing an appropriate vice presidential running mate, eagerly awaited Biden's announcement about his choice for vice president. Finally, on August 10th, 2021, I thanked all of you for subscribing to my site's YouTube channel and thereby taking us to over 20,000 subscribers and over 3 million views. On August 11th, 1929, George Herman Babe Ruth hit his 500th home run at Cleveland's League Park, the first Major League Baseball player to achieve that lofty status. On August 11th, 1934, the federal penitentiary located on the island of Alcatraz in San Francisco Bay opened for civilian prisoners. On August 11th, 1942, sexy actress Hedy Lamarr and composer George Anthel patented frequency-hopping radio signals, the science that became Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cell phone technology. On August 11th, 1984, President Ronald Reagan said perhaps the stupidest lines of his presidency by joking about bombing Russia, which caused the Soviet Union to raise their security and defense levels, something we commemorated in our article, 10 Incredibly Stupid Things Said by Politicians. Finally, on August 11, 2019, the world of the rich and famous were still reeling from the allegations revealed in the release of court records on August 9, 2019 in the Jeffrey Epstein sex trafficking case. On August 12, 30 BC, after the naval defeat of her and Mark Antony's forces against those of Octavian, and in fear of the public humiliation of being dragged through Roman chains, Cleopatra VII Philopater is alleged to have committed suicide by allowing an asp, a venomous snake of the cobra family, to bite her breast. On August 12, 1676, John Alderman, known as a praying Indian because he was a Native American converted to Christianity, shot and killed Chief Metacomet of the Wampanoag people, thus ending the conflict known as King Philip's War. On August 12, 1883, the last known living specimen of the quagga died, and the species became extinct. August 12, 1915 marks the date of a story, which is not actually just a simple story, which tells of the vanishing of a group of British soldiers during the now infamous Gallipoli campaign during World War I. On August 12, 1944, German Nazi troops finished off a massacre of between 40,000 and 50,000 Poles. Finally, on August 12, 1994, Major League Baseball players went on strike, ending the 1994 Major League Baseball season and causing the cancellation of the 1994 World Series. On August 13, 1521, Cuauhtémoc, ruler of the Aztecs, was captured while fleeing Tenochtitlan by crossing Lake Texcoco in disguise with his wife, family, and friends. On August 13, 1779, a combined U.S. naval and ground expeditionary force was defeated after a three-week campaign known as the Penobscot Expedition, the worst defeat in U.S. Navy history until the surprise attack against Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. On August 13, 1913, Harry Brearley began production of stainless steel in Britain. On August 13, 1918, Ofa Mae Johnson became the first of 305 women to enlist in the United States Marine Corps Women's Reserve, proving that women can do and be just about anything. Finally, 
on August 13th, 2019, we went and saw the latest horror movie from Hollywood, the movie version of Alvin Schwartz's Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. On August 14th, 1480, during the protracted Battle of Otranto in southern Italy, a siege of the city between the Ottoman Turks and the Italian defenders of their homeland, the Ottomans, who of course were of the Islamic faith, took 800 Christian Italians hostage and gave them a choice. Convert to Islam or be executed. On August 14th, 1880, Work on the Cathedral of Cologne was finally finished after it had been started 600 years earlier. On August 14, 1893, someone in France dreamed up motor vehicle registration. On August 14, 1937, the Japanese invasion of China that started July 7, 1937 at the Marco Polo Bridge incident saw the first air-to-air -air combat of the Second Sino-Japanese War and arguably the first air-to-air -air combat of World War II, presuming you consider the start of the war between Japan and China as the start of World War II. On August 14, 1947, the independent country of Pakistan came about, a mostly Muslim country consisting of the northeast and northwest portions of the Indian subcontinent carved out of the British colony of India. On August 14, 1994, Ilich Ramirez Sanchez, Venezuelan terrorist and one of the most wanted men in the world, was finally arrested by authorities in the Sudan and turned over to French law enforcement. On August 14, 2003, an enormous electrical blackout struck the northeast and upper midwest of the United States and a large part of western Ontario, Canada, leaving about 55 million people without electricity for a period lasting between seven hours and two days. From August 14 through 28, 2003, a widespread power outage affected millions of people living throughout parts of the northeastern and midwestern United States in the Canadian province of Ontario. On August 14, 2014, we ran a list of wonderful products named after the city they are associated with or came from. On August 14, 2017, President Donald Trump of the United States and dictator for life Kim Jong-un of North Korea engaged in a war of words, threatening each other's country with one sort of hyperbolic annihilation or another. On August 15, 1281, the army and navy forces of the Mongol Chinese Emperor Kublai Khan were destroyed at the Battle of Khan, an attempt to invade and conquer Japan. On August 15, 1769, little Napoleon Bonaparte was born on the island of Corsica to ethnic Italian parents, although living on what was then a French island, having been transferred to France by Genoa only a year earlier. On August 15, 1914, the Panama Canal was open for traffic, with the SS Ancon making the first transit of the Great Canal. On August 15, 1947, India gained her long-awaited independence, a fitting thing for the world's second most populous country, and thereby making George VI of the United Kingdom the last British Emperor of India, while signaling the end of one of history's largest empires. On August 15, 1950, Princess Anne was born to the future Queen Elizabeth II of Great Britain and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. On August 15, 1969, the Woodstock Music and Art Fair, touted to be an Aquarian Exposition, three days of peace and music, opened in the Catskills region of New York State. And on August 15, 2014, The Expendables 3 released theatrically. On August 16, 1812, General William Hall of the U.S. Army surrendered Fort Detroit to an inferior English force. On August 16, 1927, the Dole Air Race began, with eight airplanes taking off from Oakland, California and heading to Honolulu, Hawaii. On August 16, 1942, 
while on routine anti-submarine patrol, the two-man crew of the U.S. Navy blimp L-8 disappeared without a trace. On August 16, 1944, the Nazis flew the prototype of the Ju-287 for the first time. On August 16, 1945, the last emperor in China, Puyi of Manchuria, was captured by the Soviet army. On August 17, 1498, Cesare Borgia, the son of reigning Pope Alexander VI, resigned his office as Cardinal of the Catholic Church, becoming the first Cardinal to do so. On August 17, 1943, the U.S. 8th Air Force, the main American unit of heavy bombers stationed in England, launched 378 B-17 bombers against Schweinfurt and Regensburg in Germany, a raid that came to symbolize the dangers of unescorted bombing. On August 17, 2009, ABC News published an article concerning how pop star Lady Gaga herself remains 100% woman, a fact that required reiteration after an upskirt photo sparked rumors that she's a hermaphrodite. Yes, that was actual mainstream news 12 years ago. On August 17, 2017, the great Catalonian city of Barcelona, Spain, was the scene of a mass murder perpetrated by Islamic extremist terrorists and the primary weapon used in the terror attacks that killed 16 innocent victims was the motor vehicle driven into pedestrians. On August 17, 2018, American action film fans were treated to the opening of the new action thriller Black Ops movie, Mile 22, starring Mark Wahlberg in his quirkiest best. On August 18, 1587, Virginia Dare was born in the Roanoke Colony in what is now North Carolina. Each year, the current residents of Roanoke Island celebrate her birthday with an Elizabethan Renaissance festival. On August 18, 1612, the trials of the Pendle Witches began in England. Twenty-two years later to the day, across the Channel in France, Urban Grandier was convicted of sorcery and burned alive. On August 18, 1920, the United States ratified the 19th Amendment to the Constitution. This move gave American women the right to vote, also known as women's suffrage. On August 18, 1945, Indonesia, now the world's fourth most populous country and the largest island nation, inaugurated Sukarno as the nation's first president. Indonesia had just received their independence the day before this historic event. On August 18, 1976, soldiers of the North Korean Army used an axe to murder two U.S. Army officers that were overseeing a work party to cut down a tree in the demilitarized zone, DMZ, between North and South Korea in an area known as a Joint Security Area, JSA, that is manned by soldiers from North Korea, South Korea, and the United States. On August 18, 2003, a tremendously sad and unusual murder took place when a Newfoundland mother, who had been given custody of her one-year-old son, murdered the little boy, despite the mom being on bail for the murder of her husband. The infamous case resulted in Canada amending its laws about awarding child custody. On August 19, 1612, three women from Samuelsbury in Lancashire, England, were put on trial for witchcraft. Five alleged witches were also executed on the same date in Salem, Massachusetts, but in 1692. A letter written on August 19, 1665, or 1666, was found inside the cover of the Voynich Manuscript, an illustrated codex handwritten in an unknown writing system. On August 19, 1940, the B-25 Mitchell was flown for the first time. On August 19, 1953, United States and British covert spy agencies, CIA and MI6, overthrew the government of Iran, led by democratically elected Mohammad Mossadegh, and reinstated the Shah, King, Mohammad Reza Pahlavi. 
On August 19, 2002, the Russian military suffered the worst fatal helicopter incident and crash in the history of aviation when a missile fired by Chechen Islamic separatists struck a Russian Mi-26 helicopter, bringing the huge helicopter down in a minefield and killing a total of 127 Russian soldiers. On August 19, 2019, Stipe Miocic, a heavyweight mixed martial arts fighter fighting in the UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship promotion, was recuperating from his hard-fought regaining of the UFC heavyweight title from Daniel Cormier, another UFC light heavyweight and heavyweight fighting legend. On August 19, 2020, we got the opportunity to screen The Stranger, a nifty movie cobbled together from a series of short segments that originally appeared on Quibi, a short-form streaming service. Finally, on August 19th, as the summer season nears its end, so too ends one of the most popular months for camping. On either August 20th or September 8th through 10th, 480 BC, the Persians defeated the Spartans in the Battle of Thermopylae. On August 20th, 1882, Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture made its debut in Moscow.
On August 20, 1938, Yankees first baseman and iron horse Lou Gehrig hit his 23rd Grand Slam of his career, a monumental Major League Baseball record that stood for 75 years until topped by Alex Rodriguez. On August 20, 1940, Winston Churchill, Prime Minister of the war-torn United Kingdom, delivered one of his most stirring wartime speeches, one that hailed the efforts of the Royal Air Force, RAF, known from then on and forever as the few. On August 20th, 1940, Communist Revolutionary Leon Trotsky was murdered in Mexico by agents of Joseph Stalin. On August 20th, 1977, the United States space probe Voyager 2 was launched with the mission of studying the outer portions of our solar system and then becoming the first with its sister ship Voyager 1 actually launched two weeks later, man-made objects to enter interstellar space. On August 20th, 2008, the results of the internet voting on which top locations should be included in Monopoly Here and Now the World edition were announced. As of August 20th, 2014, the World Health Organization, WHO, and the Centers for Disease Control, CDC, reported a total of 2,615 suspected cases and 1,427 deaths, 1,528 cases and 844 deaths being laboratory confirmed, and an epidemic of Ebola virus disease, EVD, in West Africa. Finally, on August 20th, 2020, we finally got around to watching the third installment in the Deep Blue Sea movie franchise, the aptly named Deep Blue Sea 3. On August 21st, 1897, Ransom Eli Olds founded the car company that became the first assembly line producer of automobiles in the world. On August 21st, 1911, Vincenzo Perugia, an employee of the Louvre in Paris, stole perhaps the most famous painting in the world, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. On August 21st, 1961, Motown Records of Detroit, Michigan, released what became their first number one hit song, Please Mr. Postman, by the Marvelettes. On August 21st, 1968, the Medal of Honor, the highest military award for bravery and courage in battle that can be earned by an American fighting person, was awarded posthumously to James Anderson Jr., the first African-American U.S. Marine to earn the Medal of Honor. On August 21st, 1982, Elements of the 860-man French contingent of the Multinational Force in Lebanon, MNF, arrived in Beirut. On August 21, 1986, a volcano in Cameroon hidden beneath Lake Nios erupted and released a mass quantity of carbon dioxide gas, suffocating and killing nearly 1,800 and 3,500 of their farm animals. On August 21, 2012, the fourth game in the Counter-Strike series was released for Windows, OS X, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3. On August 21, 2017, we looked back on the past week, a week that had been incredible for the news cycle, with most of the news being bad. On August 21, 2019, a report came out that derogatory student loan debt is growing at stunning pace. On August 21, 2019 again, the country was treated to a great, the most dangerous game, short story 1924, film 1932, themed horror movie, when Ready or Not hit the public. On August 21st, 2019, American football fans also eagerly awaited the next NFL season. On August 22nd, 1485, King Richard III of England died from wounds received in the Battle of Bosworth Field, the last English king to die in battle. On August 22, 1639, the British East India Company founded a city they called Madras in southern India on the Bay of Bengal on land they bought from local Nayak leaders, a mere three-mile strip that would become one of the world's great cities. On August 22, 1880, the London Telegraph published an allegedly true story claiming that, 
believe it or not, people can be buried alive and still survive. On August 22, 1902, Helene Leni Riefenstahl was born in Berlin, Germany. On August 22, 1962, the French ultra-nationalist terror group known as the OAS, Organisation Armée Secrète, which means Secret Army Organization, made a famous attempt on the life of Charles de Gaulle, President of France. On August 22, 1971, Cold War anti-communist zealots, FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover, and Attorney General of the U.S. John Mitchell announced the arrest of the Camden 28, anti-Vietnam protesters that had broken into a Camden, New Jersey draft board to destroy documents necessary for the administration of the military draft for that area. On August 22, 2007, the Texas Rangers beat the Baltimore Orioles with a score of 30-3, to the most runs ever scored by a Major League Baseball team in the modern era. Finally, on August 22, 2017, CNN reported on two recent studies that showed how a bad work environment could be bad for your health. On August 23, 1904, Harry Weed of Canastota, New York, patented the automobile tire chain. In those days before snow tires and before four-wheel and all-wheel drive, tire chains undoubtedly saved many a would-be stranded motorist. On August 23, 1942, the Battle of Stalingrad commenced during World War II. As a result of this battle, the German Sixth Army was destroyed and the decisive Soviet victory marked the beginning of the decline of the Axis forces on the Eastern Front. On August 23, 1954, a harmless-looking cargo aircraft made its first flight when the C-130 had become airborne. It would go on to become perhaps the greatest cargo plane in history, still in production over 50 years later. On August 23, 1994, an extraordinary American warrior was posthumously commissioned a second lieutenant in the U.S. Air Force. Eugene Bullard, born in Columbus, Georgia in 1895, had fought in World War I for the French Foreign Legion, and in 1917 he became the first ever African American to be a military pilot, one of only two pilots of African origin in World War I. On August 23, 2007, the bodies of the remaining Romanov family members were found near Yekaterinburg, Russia, the remains being mere skeletons. Still, the discovery of the remains of Tsarevich Alexei Nikolaevich Romanov and his sister Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna Romanov put an end to any realistic claims that either of these two children of the last Tsar of Russia, Nicholas, Nikolai, the second of the Romanov dynasty, would be alive or have had children, thus producing possible heirs to the throne of Imperial Russia. Finally, on August 23, 2019, the third in the movie series starring Gerard Butler as the super-duper Secret Service agent Mike Banning made its debut across the U.S. in the wrappings of Angel Has Fallen. The previous films, Olympus Has Fallen 2013 and London Has Fallen 2016, were financially successful films, making more than double and more than triple their budgets respectively, meaning it was only good business sense for the producers to add another film to the series. August 24th, 410, the city of Rome fell to foreign invaders for the first time in 800 years. On August 24th, 1215, Pope Innocent III declared the Magna Carta that King John of England signed with a group of dissatisfied barons on June 15th, 1215, a famous document that is often treated with similar respect as the American Declaration of Independence, null and void. On August 24, 1349, the Black Death broke out in the Prussian town of Elbing in northern Germany. Also on August 24, 1349, 6,000 Jews were massacred in Mainz, Germany by being burned alive. Blamed for so many ills, this time they were held responsible for spreading the bubonic plague. 
On August 24, 1949, one of the most significant military alliances of modern times went into effect as the North Atlantic Treaty Organization became a Cold War reality. On August 24, 1950, Edith Spurlock Sampson, an attorney of African American heritage, became the first African American of either gender to become a United States delegate to the United Nations. Finally, on August 24, 2010, 72 bodies of illegal immigrants were found in a mass grave by Mexican military units that had just ended a shootout with the dreaded drug and crime cartel, Los Zetas. On August 25, 1823, Mountain Man and fur trapper Hugh Glass was attacked by a grizzly bear while on a fur-taking and exploring expedition in what is now South Dakota. On August 25, 1835, the New York newspaper The Sun published the first of six articles about alleged new scientific discoveries concerning the moon, specifically that a civilization had been found thriving there. This hoax was a combination ploy by reporter Richard Locke to improve sales of the newspaper and to make fun of some contemporary astronomers who claimed to have found signs of life on the moon. On August 25, 1904, our greatest ice cream sundae was born, the invention of pharmacist apprentice David Strickler in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. On this day each year we celebrate National Banana Split Day. On August 25, 1914, during the opening stages of World War I, German soldiers burned the library of the Catholic University of Leuven in Belgium, destroying a treasure of ancient, medieval, and Renaissance works. On August 25, 1939, in a move meant to dissuade Germany from attacking Poland, the United Kingdom, Britain, signed a military alliance treaty with Poland, which promised that if either were attacked, the other would come to their assistance. Finally, on August 25, 1945, American Army Intelligence Officer Captain John Birch was killed by communist revolutionaries in China a mere 10 days after the end of World War II. On August 26, 1346, at the Battle of Creasy, English archers proved the superiority of the English longbow over the combination of armored knights and crossbowmen fielded by the French, and ever since the longbow has been closely associated with England. On August 26, 1444, the Battle of St. Jacob and Der Beers was fought between an army of mercenaries representing France against a much smaller force of pikemen from the old Swiss Confederacy. On August 26, 1883, the Indonesian volcano Krakatoa began its two-day eruption that was so massive that its effects were felt around the world. On August 26, 1968, the Democratic Party began their national convention in Chicago at a time of great unrest in the United States. On August 26, 1970, the Women's Liberation Movement, spearheaded by Betty Friedan, held the Women's Strike for Equality. On August 26, 2017, the Cleveland Browns played against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tampa in an NFL preseason game. And on August 26, 2018, a nation mourned the loss of U.S. Navy veteran John McCain, a prominent U.S. Senator from Arizona and former presidential candidate who finally succumbed to brain cancer on August 25, 2018, after a courageous fight. On August 27, 1859, Colonel Edwin Drake of the Seneca Oil Company drilled a successful oil well just outside Titusville, Pennsylvania, the discovery of the first commercially viable oil well. On August 27, 1927, five steadfast women in Canada petitioned the Supreme Court of Canada to clarify if the word persons in the British North America Act included women. On August 27, 1928, countries that were bitter enemies in World War I signed the Kellogg-Briand Pact to renounce war as a means to resolve disputes and conflicts between nations. 
On August 27, 1939, the first jet aircraft, the Heinkel HE-178, made its first flight. Finally, on Monday, August 27, 2018, at 7 p.m., historical drama film fans had the chance to be among the first in Cleveland, Ohio, to see Operation Finale at Cinemark in Valley View, Ohio. On August 28, 489, the king of the Ostrogoths, Theodoric, defeated the forces under Odoacer, king of Italy, at the Battle of Isanzo, thus opening the route into the heart of Italy. On August 28, 632, Fatima bint Muhammad, the youngest and possibly the only daughter of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, beloved by Muhammad and by Muslims throughout the world, died under disputed circumstances. On August 28, 1917, Ten women who were picketing the White House, demanding women's suffrage, were arrested. On August 28, 1957, in an effort to stop the Civil Rights Act of 1957, Senator Strom Thurmond of South Carolina conducted a record one-person filibuster of 24 hours and 18 minutes. On August 28, 1964, the city of Philadelphia erupted into a race riot when the predominantly African-American neighborhoods of North Philadelphia in the Columbia Avenue area broke out into a full-blown riot between the police and African-American residents that had long complained of police brutality. On August 28, 1968, the profession of policing in the United States reached one of its lowest points when the Chicago Police Department, under the direction of dictatorial Mayor Richard Daley, moved to violently put down protests at the 1968 Democratic Convention from August 26 through 29, 1968, resulting in what has been described as a police riot. On August 28, 1988, an Italian precision flight team proved that aerial acts that look extremely dangerous to an audience appear that way for a reason, because they are. The Italian Air Force acrobatic team known as Frecce Tricolori was flying 10 Aramaki MB-339, a subsonic trainer light attack jet, at the Ramstein Air Show when three of the planes collided and crashed, killing all three pilots. Finally, on Tuesday, August 28, 2018, at 7 p.m., science fiction action film fans had the chance to be among the first in Cleveland, Ohio, to see Kin at Cinemark in Valley View, Ohio. On August 29, 708 A.D., Japan minted copper coins for the first time in their history. On August 29, 1350, the English naval fleet under King Edward III defeated the Castilian fleet at the Battle of Winchelsea in the English Channel after the Castilian fleet had previously attacked and captured English trade ships. On August 29, 1756, the Prussian army of Frederick the Great attacked Saxony, starting the Seven Years' War. On August 29, 1786, disgruntled Massachusetts farmers disgusted by high taxes, economic hardships, and civil rights violations formed an organized force of protesters and shut down the county court at Northampton, the beginning of an insurrection known as Shays' Rebellion, 4,000 rebels under the leadership of Daniel Shays with the goal of overthrowing the government. From August 29 through 30, 1813, the Battle of Kolm was fought near the town Kolm, Chulmek, and the village Prestonov in northern Bohemia during the War of the Sixth Coalition, part of the Napoleonic Wars. On August 29, 1831, Michael Faraday of England discovered electromagnetic induction, the interaction of electricity and magnetism that allows the creation of the electric induction motor and generator, among other things. On August 29, 1949, Nuclear scientists in the Soviet Union, USSR, successfully tested their first atomic bomb, an implosion-type device they called First Lightning. On August 29, 2017, southern Texas was reeling from the ongoing effects of Hurricane Harvey. Finally, on August 29, 2019, we went to see the second film in the 47 Meters Down movie franchise, this time titled 47 Meters Down Uncaged.
On August 30th, 1792, Napoleon Bonaparte was appointed a captain in the French army, a major stepping stone on the path that eventually resulted in his becoming emperor of the French. From August 29th through 30th, 1813, the Battle of Kulm was fought near the town of Kulm, Shulmec, and the village Prestonov in northern Bohemia during the War of the Sixth Coalition, part of the Napoleonic Wars. Also on August 30th, 1813, a force of about 1,000 warriors of a faction of the Creek Nation Native Americans known as the Red Sticks attacked Fort Mims in Alabama, killing almost all its defenders and many civilians as well. On August 30th, 1879, American Army and Confederate Army General John Bell Hood died of yellow fever only six days after his wife and daughter died of that disease leaving behind ten orphan children and a rich heritage as a fighting man. On August 30th, 1898, American actress Shirley Booth was born. Booth would go on to play television maid Hazel in the title role of the TV show. On August 30th, 1918, Fanny Kaplan fired shots at Vladimir I. Lenin, leader of the Russian Revolution and founder of the Soviet Union, wounding him. Had Lenin died at this time and not six years later, history might well have been different. On August 30th, 1967, the United States confirmed Thurgood Marshall as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States by a vote of 69 to 11, the first African American so confirmed. On August 30th, 2018, we celebrated National Toasted Marshmallow Day, a day in late summer when we gather around the campfire with long forks or even sharpened sticks and toast our bubbly, gooey marshmallow treats. Finally, on August 30th, 2020, we finally got to see the Vin Diesel superhero action movie Bloodshot, an eye candy extravaganza that came out on March 13th, 2020, just in time to be destroyed by the coronavirus pandemic. On August 31st, 1854, a seminal moment in the history of illness and scientific application of anti-disease efforts struck the Broad Street area of Soho, London, England, when a severe cholera outbreak began. On August 31st, 1869, the world's first recorded road traffic death involving a motor vehicle occurred when Irish scientist Mary Ward fell out of her cousin's steam car and was run over by it. On August 31, 1939, German troops dressed in Polish uniforms pretended to attack a German radio station near the German-Polish border at Glawitz, Gliwice in Polish. On August 31, 1943, the Buckley-class destroyer USS Harmon DE-678 was commissioned, the first American Navy ship named after an African-American person. The Harmon got its name from the heroic Leonard Roy Harmon, a mess attendant aboard the USS San Francisco in 1942. On August 31, 1965, fans of super different airplanes could add another oddity to their list when the Aerospace Line Super Guppy made its first flight. On August 31, 1997, Princess Diana died in a Paris hospital after being involved in an accident in which the car she had been riding in had been chased down and harassed by paparazzi before crashing into a wall and pillar of an underground tunnel. In 2014, in a total of four rounds, hackers released private pictures of celebrities, many containing nudity, supposedly taken from their iCloud accounts. The most famous victim of the first round from August 31st was Oscar winner Jennifer Lawrence. Finally, on August 31st, 2018, the new sci-fi action-adventure film Kin made its debut across the United States. As a question for my students and subscribers, which historic event that happened in August would you like to learn more about? Please let me know in the comments section below this video. To learn more about each of the events mentioned in today's video, please visit the calendar on our website. If you liked this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated.